Hey guys, welcome back to The Dental Duo. My name is Nico and I recently started a YouTube channel with my girlfriend Kathleen. In this video, I am going to be going over how I got a 99th percentile DAT score and how I can guide you guys to crushing your DAT as well. So let's get started. We're gonna start off with foundation. So what I mean by foundation, before we even start studying for a DAT, you have to have a foundation of our prerequisite classes that you take during undergrad, such as your gen chems, bios, orgos. And I think the best way you can prepare for the DAT is to really focus on these classes before you even start studying for your DAT. So all you freshmen and sophomores that are still taking these classes, now's the time to solidify your foundation. Me personally, I think it's very important to try to master one of the three sciences on the test before you start studying because this gives you extra time to focus on the other subjects that you might be struggling with. So for me, I TA'd Organic Chemistry 1 and 2 for three semesters and I tutored it for over 300 hours. It helped me focus more on the sections I struggled with, such as the PAT section and the reading section. So that's the first step to success, having a good foundation, and that will help you immensely. The second key to success when studying for your DAT is having a program that will have your back while studying. The best program out there to study for your DAT is DAT Bootcamp. 95% of the students that study for their DAT use DAT Bootcamp and have very much success. I would strongly recommend using DAT Bootcamp. You could actually use our affiliate link, Dental Duo, to get 10% off of your DAT Bootcamp subscription. So DAT Bootcamp has a 10-week guide breaking down every single day what you should be doing to study for the DAT. And I think this guide was phenomenal. It helped me stay on track and it made sure I didn't overstudy or understudy. The next key to success, which I briefly talked about, is making sure you do all your practice exams on DAT Bootcamp. Not only do all your practice exams, but go question by question and understand why the right answer is right and understand why the wrong answer is wrong. So for example, in this question, what cell type is responsible for secreting gastric juice? So if we look over our choices, we might know that parietal cells secrete the gastric juice. However, go a little bit further and see what do chief cells do? What do goblet cells do? And going over every single answer choice and understanding what each cell type does and doing that for every question is gonna make sure you're very successful with your test. And if you don't know what cuffer cells are, for example, that's perfectly fine, but that's the whole point of studying and going over the practice exams, making sure you solidify the little gaps in your knowledge that you have. The next key to success is organizing your test date and planning ahead. Find what day you take your DAT and what day you start studying for the test and organize it into your schedule. Use a DAT bootcamp schedule planner and see if you have nine weeks to study, you're gonna have to cut a week down. If you have 11, 12 weeks to study, maybe you could break down the 10 week schedule a little bit more and create your own custom schedule. So plan that accordingly. Moral of the story, it's very important to know how much time you have so you don't get stuck with three weeks left of material with only one week to study. Or on the contrary, you don't have an extra one month of studying when you've covered the whole 10 week course. My fifth key to success, which I think is one of the most important, is having a study buddy. While I don't suggest studying with your study buddy and watching the same videos at the same pace, I do encourage you to get with your study buddy after a day of studying and going over information, shooting questions at each other, making flashcards with each other, whatever might help you guys to really solidify the information. Because some of the information your friend might be great at, you might not be too confident on and vice versa. So it's definitely important to have a study buddy, someone that you can keep accountable, that can keep you accountable. And I think it also helps you from burning out. It's just a phenomenal idea to have a study buddy. And my final key to success for crushing the DAT, which is when you get to the day you're taking it, arrive on time, make sure you eat a very brain healthy meal, maybe some salmon with some omega threes, some fruits and vegetables, make sure you drink plenty of water and have a beef jerky snack for your break and a banana with a water bottle and arrive early. And honestly, what I did, I went to the testing center about a week before my actual test day just to see the structure, to make sure I'm going to the right building, make sure I know where the parking lot is, just to help alleviate the stress of having to figure out where you're at on the test days. And a side tip that isn't included in one of my six steps is making sure you take breaks. Don't overdo yourself, don't burn yourself out. Make sure you give yourself at least one day off of the week just to have a mental refresh. Don't look at the DAT, don't think about the DAT. 
because this test is a long journey and towards the end you might feel some sort of burnout. So make sure you give yourself a break and don't be too hard on yourself on the practice exam scores because they are only practice exam scores. And a common trend I've seen is your actual DAT score might be a couple points higher than your practice exams and that's because the practice exams are usually harder than the actual DAT. So don't fixate too much on those practice exam points. Just keep studying, learn your material and make sure you understand why the questions are wrong. With that said, I hope you guys absolutely crush your DAT. You guys are gonna do phenomenal. Make sure you like, sub, and leave a comment of how well you did on your DAT. And one last tip to save you guys some money, when purchasing your DAT, make sure you select to send your score to all schools, because if you don't, then you're gonna have to spend additional money on every single school you wanna send your score to. So keep that in mind.